we are going to go ahead and take a look at Malwarebytes, anti-malware. Now, the program I have running right now is actually the premium version, not the free one. I'm, um, I'm using a free trial right now. And uh, this is a website where you can download the free trial. And uh, one year for this premium plan uh, costs $24.95, and that's for three PCs for $24.95 for one year. We're testing it out. We're trying to see the difference of the free one and this one that you pay for. Now, I will post a link on the description of the video for this web page so you can download the free trial if you'd like and try it also. Let's go ahead and take a look at the program. So right off the bat, it looks the window of this one is actually smaller than the free one. The free version of Malwarebytes, uh, the window is a little bit bigger than this. So I think they're trying to make it simpler on, um, on the premium. Uh, on the dashboard that it starts off on right away it tells you what your license is right here it says it's a trial database version if it has a checkbox a check mark it means it's up to date uh, scan progress and real-time protection and right now it's enabled and it's got a big green scan now button down here if you want to scan now it has tabs up here let's go to the scan tab and I did a, a scan for like 10 seconds and then I stopped it but right off the bat, it found a couple of what are called PUPs, which is uh, uh, spyware. And it found a couple of them here. And you can actually make this the screen, uh, the window full screen like I did right now. But anyway, so here they are. I'm going to choose to uh, quarantine. Now, what I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a delete function. It only has quarantine, add exclusion, and ignore you gotta first quarantine it and after it's quarantined you have to delete it so that's something that's not uh, something I don't like right off the bat but this is still a very powerful uh, detection system alright we're gonna go ahead and quarantine tell it to quarantine and click on apply actions on the green button and there we go they're quarantined so that's good so I'm gonna have to do a full scan because that was only a scan for 10 seconds and I canceled it but uh, right off the bat, I found some potential threats, so I'm pretty, pretty impressed. All right, let's go back to the scan. Go to main menu. Right now, it's doing a threat scan. It's gonna cancel that. I'm trying to go back to the main menu here. Another thing with Malwarebytes, once you start a scan and you try to cancel it, it just stays stuck on there. So we'll, we'll skip this section for now. We'll come back to it once it decides to come back. So that I really don't like about this. It kind of wants to do its own thing. Let's go to settings. All right, I want to show you the settings. Now, the difference between the free program and this one you pay for is the settings. It has a lot more settings on here. All right, now, notifications for anything that comes up. Uh, in general settings you can set that uh, you can have it close the notification after a certain amount of seconds that it tells you that something came up you have a virus or something under the malware exclusions here you can add a file that you want to exclude which uh, there's some files out there that we like to use that sometimes get picked up as Trojans and we still want to use the program so make sure you add it here as an exclusion there's also web exclusions there's a certain websites you like to go to that are considered to malware bytes, uh, bad websites, but you still like to go to them, you can al always add them on here also. Under detection and protection, make sure you, if you do get this program, make sure you go here and you check this box, scan for rootkits. You want to scan for those rootkits. Those are the worst type of viruses you can get. So make sure you, you uh, check that. Uh, PUPS, which is what we detected a while ago, you can tell it to treat detections of the malware and I recommend you keep it that way. I, re I recommend you keep all this uh, where it is. Malware protection enabled, malicious website protection enabled. The update settings which um, which is really cool about this program, I really don't see this much in other antivirus programs is to notify user of databases out of date and how many days you want to do it. Let's say once, once a week you put it for what, seven days? Once a week if you wanted to update automatically or notify you actually it's to notify uh, every seven days here you can look at the hist history settings here and uh, here uh, I recommend you uncheck this box help fight malware by on on anonymously providing historical information you want to uncheck it because it'll speed up your internet and um, it'll potentially 
potentially having this on actually opens up doors for viruses to get in if you don't believe it because it's actually sending information it might be encrypted and it might be you know it's malware bytes it's going to protect you but at the same time you know it also about people collecting your information if you don't like that uncheck that box scan log options you can tell it to automatically export log information to disk and you can tell it where to and you can go there and pick it up access policies you can go ahead and set the uh, add new access policies on here for certain settings and functions on malware bytes under advanced settings you can uh, <coughs> tell it to start when windows starts enable malware protection when mal malware bytes starts now what's really cool about this is uh, I haven't seen this in other other antivirus programs and I, I like this about about malware bytes about this premium version you can delay protection at startup let let's say you have a slow computer and when your antivirus starts up your computer slows down significantly you can actually check this box and tell it hey I need 45 seconds uh, I don't know 60 a whole minute for my computer to boot up to uh, start up and uh, get stable you know so you can tell it that it'll wait 60 seconds for your computer to be stable and then it'll come up which is awesome so I give this program uh, a good review because of that. That's something some of us need that have slow computers. Automated scheduling, you can uh, go ahead and set that up. Um, there's two different kinds of scans in this program. There's threat scan and then there's quick scan which I'll show you here in a bit. But here you can go ahead and edit the schedule however you want to do it. And um, whenever you can tell it to automatically check for updates before scanning which is very very important. Make sure you always have that check box marked. Alright that's about it. Let's go back to the scan tab. There we go. So on the scan tab you can like I said you can select uh, actually three types of scans. Threat scan which is the most uh, which is the basic scan. It'll scan everything. A custom scan if you want to scan like for example uh, an external hard drive or flash drive you just want to, or a custom folder you just want to scan that you can do that or a hyper scan which which I call it a cheap scan it just does a really quick scan on your computer which I don't recommend always use the threat scan or a custom scan if you just want to let's say you downloaded something off the internet and you want to scan it use custom scan to to um, just to scan that in particular and also under the history um, tab up here you can also see the uh, I gotta love the radiation sign here on the upper right hand corner that's awesome <laughs> but here under history you can see what 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 it's found so far and here we have a pup and I'm gonna have to look into this and delete this pup because it's actually slowing down my computer significantly and there you have it there's a anti malware bytes anti malware premium edition and if you notice there is a lot of uh, uh, what uh, whistles on, on this new one it has a lot of new features that the free one doesn't have so it's got all these features here under settings so I would I give Malwarebytes a good a good review like I said the only thing that kind of uh, ticked me off was that scan that was trying to do it on its own but of course you know that's what you want to do is you want to scan the reason why I was canceling it is because it slows down the computer and can can uh, affect the tutorial that I'm doing right now but I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, start the scan. I wanted to scan and uh, that's awesome. Did you see that? It checked for updates before I started the scan. All right, so I'm gonna leave the scanning. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. If you have any comments, any questions, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, find the download on the description of the video, the download link for this software. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more um, cool s software reviews and uh, computer tutorials that I do all the time. And I'll see you on the next one.